showing you how I went from this look right here to this look here. So it's kind of a daytime look um, and nighttime look. Kind of my winter or autumn kind of inspired look because you got the dark eyes, dark lips, well dark lips in the first one. This is really easy to change if you're in a hurry. You could go from work to this for nighttime if you're going out really quick and simple. It's just a few extra eyeshadows and a different colour lip. And yes, yeah, so if you want to see how I did this from day to night look, I will show you right now. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is apply a eye base all over your eyelid, all the way up to your brown bone. So you just want to apply this, just pat it on, you don't need too much, you just want to apply it all the way to your brow bone. And all the products I use, I will list in the butt bar below, so check it out. Okay, and so after that, I'm going to be taking this light coloured eyeshadow right here. And I'm just going to get that on my finger because you can apply a lot more product with your finger than you can a brush. All over our eyelid up to the crease. Like a light brown. I'm going to go ahead and apply that on the outer corner. I'm going to go ahead and take this colour here. And we're going to apply that just underneath where we applied that lighter colour. But still focusing on the outer corner. this color right here and we're just going to apply it right to the outer corner next to our lash line okay next thing we're going to be doing is taking this loose shimmer color and it's like I'm trying to show you without spilling it but it's like this light pearly color right here and I'm just going to tap my finger in it because you do get a lot more product by doing this than using a brush it just becomes more intense tap this one in the inner corner and can you see how pretty that color is it's absolutely gorgeous just going to tap that on and then we're going to blend it out and if you find after you blend it you lose most of the shimmer you can go ahead and apply a little bit more on just tap it on and build it up but I really like that colour, it's so pretty. Okay, and now I'm just going to be applying a gel liner and I'm going to be applying it with this brush. And this is really tricky to do whilst holding a mirror. So once I've done the eyeliner on the top, I've just wiped off the excess eyeliner on my brush and I'm going to be taking in um, that ready kind of brown that we used in our crease before. So this one here. And we're just going to run this along our bottom lash line. And then I'm also going to go ahead and take this maroney kind of colour up here, which I absolutely love as well. It's so pretty. I'm going to take that on my brush just a little bit, and we're going to do the outer corner of our lash line. We're just going to blend that in with the other colour so it's darker on the outer part. I've just gone ahead and applied my foundation and wiped off any excess that fell out from the eyeshadow. And so now you just want to get a white eyeshadow and apply it just underneath your brow as well. Just to make your eyes pop a little bit more. And I'm going to be going ahead and taking this colour right here for my blush. And I'm just going to apply that. And now I'm also going to be going ahead and taking this one that's slightly a little bit more orange. And just very lightly applying that over the top. So for my lips, I'm going to be mixing two lipsticks. I'm going to be using this one by MAC Cold Diva. So it's this really dark colour and ooh, I've got my hands full. Um, I'm using this one by L'Oreal and it's called 
um, Burning Rose. It's really beautiful. It's like one of my favorite lipsticks ever. Um, I don't have a lipstick that's the exact color um, that I want my lips to be, so I'm just going to mix them. If you do have a lipstick that's the exact color, then go ahead and use that. You don't have to mix. Of course, um, you can use a lip liner. I would really advise using a lip liner, especially with dark colors. But because this is only really going to be on for five minutes and then I'm taking it off to do the other look, I'm not going to bother with a lip liner. So this is look number one, and I just kind of blended the lipstick until I found the colour that I really like. But personally, on me, I don't like dark lips on me, so I find it looks really weird. But this is a really popular look um, through winter, you know, the really deep lips and the lighter eye. But if you're someone like me who does not like to wear dark lips, you prefer to wear a darker eye and a lighter lip, then I'll show you how to transform this look here into this look right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed look number one, and now we're going to do look number two. Okay, so first thing for Look number two is I'm going to wipe all this lipstick off. Look number two is very simple. We're going to be taking that maroni colour. And I'm just going to get that and we're going to apply this in the outer corner of our eye to make it a lot darker. Just over the top of those colours. And then just dust off the excess on your brush. And blend that in. Dark purple, I know, once again, I'm using a purple. I'm going to take that dark purple and then get a little bit more of that maroon colour. And we're just going to mix those two together. And just only in this corner part, I'm going to tap it on and then blend it. And right where the wing is, I'm just going to put it right above where we put our wing. And we're just going to flick it upwards when we apply this, like that. And with our blendy brush, we're just going to do little circular motions and blend this in. going to go ahead and take a little bit more of that maroon colour on an angled brush and go underneath the bottom of our eyes and just dust off any excess that's fallen out underneath and then I'm just grabbing this pink lipstick and in my mirror I keep placing it back over here every time I move. Just taking this lip gloss here. And it's really easy to go from look number one to look number two. It's just a little bit more eyeshadow and changing the lips to something lighter, which I actually prefer. You don't have to have the bright lips in look number one. You could start off with these lips and just change the eyes up. But they're two different fun looks that are great for the winter time. Great, also great for autumn and or fall as well, because they're really dark, kind of plummy um, maroon colours. But yeah, um, you can also go ahead and reapply the glittery powder, but. Personally, I would not want to carry that around in my handbag, that powder, because it would just go everywhere. And I like the nighttime look having less shimmer. The shimmer is fun for daytime. You could add it. It's up to you completely. And this is the final look. And let me know in the comments down below which one was your favourite look. Number one, the daytime look. Or number two, the nighttime look. I like number two a lot better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe for free updates. I don't know why I'm still holding my lip gloss like this video and I'll see you next time. Yeah, bye!